A school bus driver will spend the next several years in prison for a deadly hit and run. Jason Rinders pleaded guilty to killing a woman on his route in Brooklyn Park two years ago. Only on WCCO, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shares his words to the victim's heartbroken family. A story two years in the making. It started when Devin Doherty's life ended and it all came to a head in this courtroom. A mother and father lost their daughter. Prosecutors played this video showing Jason Renders driving a bus when he hit Doherty. Another driver comes on the scene and Renders gets back in the bus. His hands at his face, looking in the mirror, a worried expression. He knew he was driving away, leaving Devin Doherty dead in the street. As a judge decided what would happen next, a victim's advocate read words from the 45-year-old victim's family who described her as a woman full of grace and a true giver. Devin was always there. She poured out so much love to others that she left a lasting memory of goodness, kindness, and charity to others. Renders, an Army vet and father of three young kids, responded with sympathy. To Ms. Dory's family, I am truly sorry, and I know I can never give you your daughter, your loved one back. I really do wish I could. I carry Miss Doherty with me every day. I know that I did wrong. I beg your lenience and give me a chance on probation. You should have stayed. You should have called 911, tried to provide some assistance. I sentenced you to 41 months in the custody of the Commissioner of Corrections. And with that, the case was closed, but the pain far from over. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Render's attorney asked if he could hug his wife, but he was taken straight into custody. His sentence was lower than the 10-year maximum because he pleaded guilty.